Collins courtroom today, a man convicted of murder when he was 15 years old continues to claim his innocence. And with decades of pent up emotions, family members of the well known victim urged the DA's office to fight that claim. The investigative reporter Mike Perlstein was there and brings us this update on a crime and court case that has rattled the entire city when it happened. Back in 1941, Ferret Street in Uptown New Orleans was nothing like the busy commercial corridor it is today. But one man, Bill Long Jr., was determined to bring the hard scrabble neighborhood to life when he planted the first flag of commerce along the street, Long's Bakery and Delicatessen. His family's dream of being the anchor as new development sprouted on Ferret was shattered in 1985 when the 57-year-old Long was robbed and shot in front of his store. He was well thought of, well respected. He did everything he could possibly do to better the community and help the people. Police quickly zeroed in on a 15-year-old boy who lived in the neighborhood. Jerome Smith was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. At his trial in 1986, he was unanimously convicted and came within one holdout juror of being sentenced to death. His conviction has been appealed and upheld many times, but his new attorney, Rachel Connor, says new evidence has surfaced showing what Smith has said all along. Quote, he is innocent of the crime and has protested his innocence since he was arrested. Connor wrote in this motion to reverse the conviction. The same heavy emotions that this case sparked back in 1985 were present today in court more than 37 years later. Smith's family, including his 79-year-old mom, were in court believing he would be released from Angola prison today. Long's family, including his son and grandson, were there to fight that release. 37 and a half years, this goes on once or twice a year, almost every year. Enough is enough. But this time, it appeared that Smith was on a fast track to be freed. The DA's office has thoroughly reviewed the case, not the appeals division, but the Civil Rights Division started by District Attorney Jason Williams to correct injustices, including convictions of innocent men. But then Bill Long III and his family, caught by surprise by today's hearing, had a meeting Tuesday with Williams. We were concerned that there was no response to the hearing for today. We asked that he ask for a continuance and do a written response that we are opposed to this as well as he should be. And he agreed. Jason Williams did everything in court today that we asked of him to do. Williams personally showed up in court today to ask for the delay, and the judge granted it until October 24th. The conviction now hangs on what time the killing took place, since old records show that Smith offered an alibi, placing him somewhere else. Connor says those times have been pinned down precisely with the new evidence. She said, quote, it makes their timeline impossible. The Long family says the issue has been raised and rejected several times before. So it's all over again, just like it was yesterday. This is terrible. My dad was my best friend. My dad was everybody in the neighborhood's best friend. After waiting for more than 37 years, two families left court today, yet again, without clear answers about what might happen next. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News.